Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back for week three of decluttering and organizing my fabric closet. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be done this week. I'm finding it hard to find other things that I need to do. There are some things that we can finish up. But uh, for the most part, I am very happy with the way things are right now. And so I'm going to just clean up a few things and call it complete. And I will always allow myself to make changes along the way as uh, I need to. One thing is I do not want to go back to putting stuff where it doesn't belong. Everything has a home so far. There's still places for homes for new things. <laughs> Because I, I'm going to be keeping that cardboard box shelving unit because there will be other things coming in and I think I'll be able to use that space. Before I get started with the snippets for this week, I want to mention why this was a good fit for this channel, my Growing Up Crazy channel. And it's obvious that it stems from my childhood. Two things in particular. I wasn't taught that just a little bit is good enough. If something had to be done, it had to be done in full that day or that week, however long it took. It was like, we have to focus on this and only this, and it's not good enough until it is done. And that was very stressful for me, especially like if I let my room get dirty, um, not dirty, but cluttered, things like that. It would be like an angry, you better clean this up, you better clean it right now. And I'd be so overwhelmed and things that I didn't even think were all that bad, like maybe some clean clothes that I just folded up and put on my hamper to wear again, you know... It, it was very stressful for me. That whole part was very stressful for me. And then the other part is that I didn't ever really do it good enough. You know, I was, uh, you should have done this and you didn't, you didn't think of this and you didn't clean this. And it was like, it was just a bad experience for me. So when I let things get messy, I suffer because they're messy and I suffer because I know at some point I have to take care of all that shit. And that's when I started telling myself, you can do this a little bit at a time. It doesn't have to get done all at once. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I'm a little on the fence about the shelving units that I made out of cardboard boxes, which you'll see again. But it's okay. Right now I'm okay with it. So I don't have to make any big decisions about that. You know? The other thing is uh, why I'm so attached to things is because some of my favorite things used to disappear. My mother would just get rid of things, things that I absolutely cherished and loved. There were times that she would tell me that she gave my stuff away for whatever reason. I didn't deserve it. I didn't play with it enough. I didn't take care of it. These were the things that I loved the most and they were gone, gone from my life that hurt me in ways you can't even imagine. Things like that, that emotional pain, that was worse than being actually like spanked or slapped, you know? It, that was like, okay, I can take this for right now and then that's it. My, my things that I love the most are still with me. But when stuff that I loved disappeared and uh, it was so obvious that she would tell me to hurt me, and got off on that, you know? That's why it's hard for me to toss anything because I, I have a, an emotional attachment to everything, even a fucking white box, you know? It's a pretty box. I love this box. I can't, I can't take it away from myself because I deserve to have a pretty box, you know? So it, it really, uh, people don't understand how fucked up your life can be uh, when you have a, a childhood that is filled with emotional pain, it really, you know? And then there were times that she would just lie and say that she never saw it, never t uh, touched it, doesn't even know what I'm talking about, doesn't even remember that thing that was important to me. Almost like, uh, am, I, am I just imagining that I ever owned 
that particular hand puppet. You know, it's like things like that. And that happened um, throughout, throughout, uh, even up to uh, just uh, the year that I was moving. You know, I don't even want to get into it because it'll make me cry, but I lost something that I loved because when I wasn't home, she decided to get rid of it. So, you know, it's stuff like that. And, you know, it, it's just, uh, it's hard to get over those things. And when I say she decided to get rid of it, she gave it away when somebody came over. I mean, because she couldn't go out of the house and throw things away or just put it in the trash. And I was uh, so upset, so upset. And it's one of the things that I wanted to take here. And, and she knew, she knew how much I loved it. And I talked about it all the time. Anyway, so, you know, it's shit like that. So it's, um, it's hard for me to get rid of things because I feel like I'm not doing the right thing for that thing. You know, I'm sad to see those boxes in a dumpster. It's better for me to just break the ties and get rid of those things. I have two boxes that I'm still undecided on, <laughs> and I'm going to try to decide today. Hopefully I can get them in the dumpster. Um, I, I just don't know. Uh, I just don't know. Okay, so um, that's why, that's why things are hard, not only for me, but for everyone, everyone who struggles with cleaning up, organizing, getting rid of things, we have an attachment that is not normal. The attachment is not normal, but the way we are treating this is normal because it becomes the normal for people who had an abnormal upbringing. You know what I'm saying? You can track these things and say, oh, okay, this is why you're like this now. This is the normal you had to get to uh, to survive the bullshit that was going on in the past. We develop a, a new normal for ourselves. You know, all this hoarding. Uh, and I'm not a bad hoarder. I mean, I'm not like we see, but those people that have the homes that we see on those TV shows... They are suffering, and it has nothing to do with what's in that house. That is just um, the visual part of what they are going through in their life and what they have gone through and what they need to work on to get through. It, it's just a symptom of what is going on, you know? And uh, it's not that, they're, that there's something wrong with that person. It's just that they had to build a new normal for themselves that was less painful than what they actually went through. And I'm telling you, every hoarder is pained by what they're looking at because it is a reminder that uh, I, I'm living like this because I, I'm so afraid to, to not... You know, <laughs> it's very hard to describe, but I'm afraid that if I get rid of this, it's going to even be more painful than what I'm going through. Because a hoarder is a perfectionist, and they beat themselves up constantly when they see how bad they've let it get. And they let it get that bad because every step of the way of it getting that bad was still to them a better emotional option than to cut the ties and make a drastic change. So that's why I'm a believer in not making drastic changes ever. You've got to tiptoe through this and make just tiny little changes and, and that's how you get big things done. I hope this encouraged someone. At the very least, I hope it makes you feel okay about how fucked up you feel. <laughs> Because it's not your fault. It really isn't. And there is a way to make changes. So now let's just go look and see what kind of things I want to wrap up this week. And uh, we're going to call it a huge success. We're back at the closet. And this is actually Tuesday, January 24, 2023. I didn't mention that. I did do a little bit last night. Just a very little bit. And I didn't bother to record it. All I did was I kind of reorganized this. This is what I'm talking about, uh, the shelving unit that I made. It's all with those precious white boxes that I love so much. And 
I have things like this because there's times that I will gather little scraps and I'm trying to not do that. Oh, what's in there? Oh, see, batik bits. Oh my God. <gasps> see, I could put those on eBay. It's just little pieces of batiks. Uh, most of these, I'm trying to see over my camera, are flat folds. So, um, you know, they open up little bits and pieces like that. Really good for fabric art, especially batiks. So I have a whole box. Okay, so you know what? Let's pull this one out. Mm, that one is a little tall. I can get rid of this box after. I'm going to put this on my table, and I'm going to try to put that on eBay uh, today. Or maybe I'll wait until the end of this series. Yeah, I'll try to get it set up, and then the day that this uh, comes out on a Friday, I will have these on eBay. So I forgot all about those. And I'm going to keep these little trays for now. And then I did notice this one has some denim scraps, so I'll be able to do that. These are my two-inch strips that I cut into two-inch squares, and I have quite a few, so I've got to work on that a little bit. So I just organized this a little bit more. It's just stuff that I need to get to. And then I added some stuff here. Uh, those are boxes of scraps that are for eBay, and I'm just going to work on those continuously. I have a lot of scraps, especially since I actually bought some scraps <laughs> from one of my suppliers. And uh, I, I'm having fun with that, though. At night, when I don't know what to do, I just really like having some little jobs that make me feel like I'm doing something, yet it's, uh, you know, nothing I have to stress out over. And so uh, I put this little blue tub up there. Again, that's fabric scraps from jeans, I believe pockets, and then a pair of pants that Skylar gave me that I can do something with. And I just didn't know where to put it for now. And I'm not sure I like it up there. I like it much better up there. I don't remember if I showed you this last week. I don't remember when I did it, but I did find a box cover for my animal um, quilting, quilt blocks project that I'm working on and in there are all the fabrics that I have used, all the prints that I've used so far and then there's the other prints that I can use. I like this when I want to make some more blocks. I just pull all that out, go to the table, do my thing and then put it all away. I love having things put away. This is still something I'm not in love with, but I might be okay with it for now. I would like at some point when I have the, um, the um, storage bathroom emptied out that I would like all craft stuff in that bathroom. And this is the bathroom that I'm talking about. And I have two boxes that came in here during the closet decluttering, so I need to do something with those. I'd like to do something with those little shelves. Those also came in here. I don't remember if they all did, but I don't want them just hanging out in here, so I have to decide what I'm doing with that. And then I still have some of those cardboard inserts for fabric. I would like to keep a few of those because you saw how handy they were to make shelves. <laughs> just a very good excuse as to why I need to keep a few. Also, I don't plan on buying bolts anymore, so I, I will want to keep some of those. Other than that, for this bathroom, I only want to take care of the new things that came in. I do have two boxes there that was in the closet, not dealing with those at this point. That stuff, this stuff, and this stuff right there, and I could take care of that box with Skylar's artwork. i got to bring that to their place and let them decide what they want to do with that. I also have to work on this section. I want that table empty with the exception of my paper cutter and then maybe a couple of boxes when I uh, cut scraps and I have things again that will go to an auction. I would be okay with like a couple of boxes there but I want the stuff out from underneath and uh, I just want to pretty that up. Now see this is stuff I'm supposed to work on but I haven't gotten around to it, so I need a place in the closet to keep things that I want to work on, but if I don't get around to it, they're not just cluttering up my table. This box arrived before I started recording today. There's fabric in that box, so today's organization will be opening that box and finding a place in my closet for all the fabric that's in there. I will use this empty bed as the place that I can open that 
box, take the fabric out, show it to you, and then find a place to put it. It's not allowed to stay on the bed. I thought I'd move the fabric over here so you can see better. These are all batiks, and I believe I have um, one-yard rolls. I know I have one-yard rolls of batik. I think they are probably the same prints and color combos. Not sure. But I have to get busy now trying to find a way to move this batik. Obviously, this goes into my exclusive uh, fabric store, and I might list some this week, I just never know, but I am happy that I'm more organized because now I can see what I have and that'll encourage me to get stuff done. So uh, these are the prints. I have four bundles just showing you the colors and the prints of what I've been calling crackle and the colors for those. Those are a little tall. Are they going to fit in my shelving unit? Let's go see. Look, they fit. I can even put them too deep so I've got room for all of those these are my little quilt blocks that I've done um, I need to find a better place I don't need to take up space on a shelf for that I moved those quilt blocks onto a cardboard shelf I made these separators loose so I can move them any way I want and I made a space big enough they are there at some point those are supposed to go on eBay either as just the blocks or as a project for a while I didn't even know where they were I have some animal prints I don't do well selling animal prints but I'm a sucker for them so I, I like to buy some when I can and did I mention these are all fat quarters those are going on the shelf and this is the rest that I had in that box. These are new. I am so excited about the prints. I think my exclusive shoppers are going to love them. For now, they are going on a shelf. I just discovered that I can put these lengthwise. I just pushed them right up against the wall. So you can see up here, I only was able to fit four across and then four in the back. But now I can do five. I put that box in my car. Next time I go by the dumpster, I will get rid of it. And I have decided to get rid of these two boxes that for some reason I just wanted, wanted to hang on to those. I'm going to go put those in my car right now. And here's the proof. I won't be showing you me actually putting them in the dumpster because I think by now you can trust that I will do that. That is it for me for today, and I feel quite accomplished. Sometimes a box of fabric can sit by my door for a few days, and then I might open it, and then the stuff just stays on my bed for a while. I got an order, I opened it, put the stuff away, and that particular box is in the car ready to be tossed. I am going out today, so that will happen today. Plus, I managed to uh, put two other boxes in there, so I think I did a good job today. It is Wednesday morning, and a cool thing happened. I had showed you this table. There was some stuff in that corner over there, and, you know, the placement is a little different. I started cleaning this up without even thinking about this series. That means it was just an automatic thing. I like that I experienced automatic thing. <laughs> Because that means that I'm enjoying this process enough. Well, I should say it's important enough to me that um, I just get into the swing of keeping things organized. Then it dawned on me, I need to record this for my snippets. All I did so far was I, you know, put a few of the things that were in that corner on a shelf. I hope to work on those pieces today. And what else? What else? This little corner, oh yeah, I have some Christmas like pillow panels, pretty big. I think they're like 17 inches. And when I do another two pounds of scraps uh, on my eBay, I'm going to include a pillow panel. I think I have five left, so there'll be one available in each of the next five auctions for that. Those small boxes, I think there's just two left there. I want to cut the tops off those and just put them in my shelving unit. So I will have little trays available when I need to put stuff in there. So let me just work on this a little bit. I didn't know those little boxes can fit in here. I think that's super cool. But for right now, since I have space on my other shelving unit, I'm going to put them there. Their new temporary home. 
this is going to be it for today. I'm keeping those things out. That is stuff that I have to cut. And that is something I have to get ready for eBay for when this video comes out. Those little batik, what did I call them? Batik bits will be up for grabs. That is stuff that I use when I'm sewing. So those are there for now. This is my board that I use to take pictures on, and I use that constantly, so I like easy access so that can stay there. Everything else went on the shelves. I ended up turning those boxes to give me more room. I don't like that they're sticking out that much, but that's just on the bottom, and at some point, this stuff, you know, will be gone, and I'll be able to have room for that size box. The rest of the boxes that were under the table, they just made their way here to the storage bathroom. <laughs> I will figure out what I want to do with those and with uh, that stuff. It is Thursday and I'm starting my morning out by putting some fat quarters in my exclusive store for my exclusive shoppers and I'm just so happy that I can come here and quickly and easily see what I have and pick out what I want and list it. I know I should be organizing something, but right now I'm so psyched that I'm able to just pull things out because I know where everything is. My salvages. I'm taking these two boxes. I'm going to put some salvages on eBay. How incredibly convenient. It's Thursday night now, and I haven't done any organizing at all. So I'm going to take care of this area. Iron stays there. My scale stays there. My craft books stay there. Those mermaid things that I really could show you, but I just don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm going to just bag those and put them up there because I don't know what else to do. We'll just get them on the shelves that I'll never touch again. And then that is the clothing that I need to um, do uh, a video on. I'm supposed to take one shirt, cut it up, and use a skirt and use that fabric to make myself a shirt. And then there's some... Uh, I think craft books and my doodling pad and stuff like that. Let me take care of this. These books are going to stay there. I have all the patterns that came with these, I think. I didn't, you know, look at every one of them. I don't think I ever used one of those patterns. And those are going to go up there. There's a spot right there for those. The books are going to stay here. This is staying here. My iron is staying here. For now, I like all of that. Let me move those patterns up. And I'm not going to stand those books up because that would just fall. They're good like that. I can't believe that I found those patterns when I was moving. They were in the back of my mother's closet, one of her closets. Some of the stuff that was up there found its way to this drawer down here. It's the best I can do right now. This shirt, I'm supposed to use this as a pattern to make a shirt out of this skirt. So I have this in the thrift store pile. I've got to cut these jeans into squares and this shirt, lots to do. I had sarongs on the dresser in that pile of stuff and I just put them down here. Those are going to end up on eBay at some point as penny auctions. I had purchased them again to make some plus size tunics that I used to make and then I just didn't really feel like doing that anymore. But who knows, maybe I will feel like doing it again. And that is it for today. I'll be wrapping this up tomorrow. It's Friday now and I am going to be wrapping up this series today. All I have left in this room, everything is picked up, is that little pile of fabric. Uh, these are 10 inch squares that I want to cut into various sizes. I'm actually going to sit down and cut some of those now. I won't do them all because I have other things to do. And what I don't do, I will put on my shoe rack shelf and I'll know that that's something that I can still work on. And before I forget, I do have stuff on eBay. If you're watching this at the time that I uploaded, you'll see those batik bits on eBay that I showed you during this video and some other stuff that I put up. If you're watching in the future, always check. I've been with eBay since the year 2000, so there's a good chance that I'm still putting things on eBay. These are all auctions that started at one penny with free shipping. And I do have stuff that you can purchase as buy it now.
I cut a bunch of these bricks. <laughs> and now I have to get back to organizing because apparently I keep putting it off. I have an iron just like this at my ironing board. This iron does not have an automatic off feature, and I love it for that reason. Also, it's small, it's lightweight, easy to handle. I bought two. I have one for my ironing board, and I have one for when I need to uh, do some pressing at my cutting table. I have a little uh, ironing board that I, you know, a tabletop one I put there, and I use this iron for those types of things. I will link to this iron down below if you want one that does not have an auto off. It just means you have to remember to turn it off like in the olden days. It's very good for crafters who do not want the iron to turn off after every few minutes. The last thing I want to do is get rid of this stuff, those boxes, and those boxes that are actually shelves. Not necessarily get rid of, I just have to find a place to put them. This is Skylar's artwork, just some of it. She does some really cool things with poured paints, stuff like that. And this was in her craft caddy, and it ended up coming here when I was sorting through her stuff. So I'm bringing that back to her apartment, and they can do with it whatever they want. Just really cool. I'm impressed by all of this. Those cardboard thingies. I wanted to keep them, and I actually had them tucked away in there. But then I said, no, I never need that many of them, because look, I still have a whole bunch here that will become available when the fabric is off, and I don't want to keep that many either. So this is all going in the trash. I'm having a very hard time throwing out these boxes. I have four like that. They were in the bathroom. I made a deal with myself. I can keep two if I toss two, and that's what I'm doing. I'm almost considering this a fail, but I'm going to talk myself into being okay with keeping these box shelves. Once I'm done with those bolts, I will not be ordering bolts anymore. I mean, not unless I, you know, absolutely needed something, but it's just too much fabric on a bolt. You know, I don't have enough shoppers now since I cut way back. And I can't move the stuff, and I don't want bolts anymore. So when those are gone, I can put those shelves, those cardboard shelves that are like this, I can put some there because I like being able to store stuff and it's not, you know, a pile one on top of another. You know, like this, it's very easy to just pull what I want. It's not like all stacked. So those are the kind of things that I'll have more of. Things like this. And that would work there. So I'm going to keep those boxes that I turned into shelves for now. And it's going to encourage me to get rid of this stuff. That too. So this is what we have. To me, it's a huge improvement I will take some before and after pictures, but this is the closet. I'm in love with my shelving that I got at Goodwill, including this shoe rack that I turned into shelves. <gasps> so love that. I'm okay with the craft tower for now, and I'm okay with this for now. And my workspace is nice and neat, and I love that. I use that box for trash. When Skylar's here, she sits on that side, and we both have access to trash that way. She can reach it. I can reach it. And that's it for this series. I will take some before and after pictures. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see what I come up with next. Bye! Bye!